这还是小花园，这这里不让进。My name is Jenica Wayman, and my dear friend is Josie Greenhill, and this is Josie's first time here, and I have been coming here for so many years. When I come to Butchart Gardens, I feel absolutely refreshed. I feel creative for many days afterwards. I love these gardens, and I'm so grateful to Jenny Butchard, the founder, for what she gave to the world. It's an inspiration of what one woman can do for the whole world. Why am I dressed like this, wearing this big cloak? And I'm enjoying feeling like I'm Mother Earth today. It's Good Friday. It's awakening, love, joy, and all possibilities. And so I, I feel just so alive at the most powerful time of the year when the seeds are sprouting and there's this beautiful push of nature just into full bloom. And I'm so grateful to be able to come to Butchart Gardens. Uh, with, a, with a pass, I could come here every day of the year for just the payment of the pass. It's the best gift to the world. Wherever I go in the world, as a traveler, I say I'm from Victoria. And people say, Butchart Gardens. Oh, we love Victoria. And I think that Butchart Gardens and Victoria and Canada are synonymous together. I think this is the best representation of Canada that we could ever present to the world. The full bloom of nature, the full joy of nature, the full expression of creative intelligence in our beautiful flowers. Well, really, I should be wearing a white horse. I mean, I should be riding a white horse in this amazing Celtic, Celtic um, cloak. Uh, you might enjoy the, the Celtic embroidery on the back. So, sp <laughs> springtime is a time of green and purple. And so I save my enormous cloak for this time of year, of the green and purple. And in Victoria, the camas meadows are blooming now. They're just starting to push up, and there's that, that creative push from the, from the soil and the blessings of the sun. And so the atmosphere is green and purple. It's a perfect time of year to be at Butchart Gardens. We have the perfect synchrony of the daffodils, the hyacinths, the tulips. The atmosphere is fragrant from the hyacinths. And that this perfect moment in time when the daffodils have not yet gone and the tulips are robust and coming in, waves and waves of color, is just so joyful. So if anyone who is seeing this, this is very, very special. We should not take this for granted, take this moment for granted. And Butchard Gardens is privately owned. Uh, it's just such a blessing. And I have learned that we need to support whatever is precious and beautiful to keep it alive in the world. So. Butchard Gardens represents the freshness, the enthusiasm, the full bloom of the sweetness of Canadian life. My name is Jenica Wayman. I'm a teacher of Transcendental Meditation, and I'm also an interior designer. And um, I grew up carrying armloads of flowers for my father, who was a pioneer in the florist industry in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Frank Zember, who was known as the grower of growers, and um, 
and the king of chrysanthemums in Canada. So I grew up uh, loving flowers and my eye became trained for beauty. And I love it that uh, my practice of transcendental meditation makes me extra exquisitely sensitive to the celestial beauty that I see all around me. Yeah. I'm Josie Greenhill and this is my first time to the gardens when it's actually spring out. I've come here before but it was winter time so it was mostly just the Christmas lights and everything. But so far even just walking a few steps in here I just love the fragrance blowing past me in the air and all the different colors and the different coordinations and everything. And it's just really beautiful to be around and to share with these people that have recently come into my life and yeah, art history. So I love beauty and being here is definitely beautiful. So. Oh, look at the red, look at this owl and the bird. Oh, it's a flicker. No, right in a woodpecker. Uh... He's busy.
Yes. He's back here, kids.
Gracie. Oh. Up. Thank you. 